When it comes to purchasing a smartphone gimbal, there are many factors to consider as each gimbal performs differently and has their own unique features. In this video, we're gonna talk about the PowerVision S1, the world's smallest smartphone gimbal on the market. What makes this gimbal so special? Well, let's find out. So this video is sponsored by PowerVision and I want to thank them for sending me over the PowerVision S1 gimbal to make a review of it. I'm going to give you my first impressions, show you how to set up the gimbal, talk about what I like about it, how it performs, the price, and my final thoughts. So with that said, let's get started. So what are my first impressions about this gimbal? So this is how it looks like when folded together. At first glance, unlike other smartphone gimbals that are instantly recognizable, the S1 could be mistaken as some kind of case, but it actually transforms into a fully featured smartphone gimbal. One of the main problems I see in most gimbals is that they are not designed to fit in your pocket, except for this one. The S1 is extremely small when folded together, smaller than the size of my hand, and fits perfectly in my pocket. And this makes it easy to carry around when traveling and doesn't take up much space in a bag. It also feels nice and well built. I like the look of it and I got the black color, but they also have other colors available such as green and blue. You have a few buttons at the front, which makes controlling the gimbal with one finger really easy. Now let's look at how to set up the gimbal. Unfolding the gimbal takes four steps. The first thing you wanna do is knock and open the front door. Hello. And then you can hold up here and then fold up the gimbals just like that. And then you can rotate the top and flip out this part over here. Now it might take longer the first time, but once you know the process, it will just take a few seconds. Now to mount the iPhone 13 Pro Max, I'll be using the included magnetic clamp. Using the magnetic clamp helps to speed up the setup process. Traditional smartphone gimbals, such as the one I'm showing you right now, where the phone clamp is built into the gimbal, the balancing time takes longer. For me, the faster I can set up my smartphone to shoot, the more likely I won't miss the moment. With the magnetic clamp, this is possible as I can easily attach it and leave it on my phone. And then I can quickly attach it to the gimbal in a matter of seconds. Now important is that you align it correctly. There is a small tab to ensure that the gimbal can orientate the foam properly. The magnets are very strong, as you can see, and you really don't have to worry, it holds the phone securely. Now I think that every smartphone gimbal should have this magnetic clamp system as it does save a lot of time when shooting on the go. So let's talk about some of the other features I like on the S1 that makes this gimbal so great. The S1 has a hidden integrated tripod at the bottom. This is certainly a bonus point to give as I don't additionally have to bring a mini tripod with me. I can simply pull out these legs right here and flip out the arm. And just like that, I can place it on an even surface to record a time-lapse, for example. Though there is a one-quarter screw hole at the bottom if you want to add a mini tripod, but for me, in most cases, the little built-in tripod works perfectly. So the next feature that I find great on the S1 is the ability to charge your phone. Shooting videos can drain a lot of battery. And with the S1, you don't have to bring an extra power bank with you since it's included and offers a built-in wireless charger. If you need to charge your phone while shooting, which is often the case for me, you can easily do that using the USB-C port. The S1 gives an impressive 15 hours of battery life, which is more than enough for my shooting needs. So let's look at how the PowerVision S1 gimbal performs. You can use the gimbal without the app if you want. So you can start and stop recording either using the native camera app or Filmic Pro, which is great for those not wanting to use the integrated app that comes with the gimbal. But if you want to get the most out of this gimbal, the Vision Plus S1 app offers a wide range of functions. The most interesting one being the Smart Tracker. What really sets this gimbal apart from some of the other ones that offer tracking is that you don't actually need to use the PowerVision app to make use of the tracking. They have a feature called PowerFlow that allows you to use any other app. Once activated, you can use gestures to let the camera follow you. This can be useful if you're vlogging or need to record yourself alone and have the camera follow you. You can of course use the PowerVision app, which allows you not only to track a person, but also objects. In terms of stabilization, I'm going to put the PowerVision S1 to the test, get some great looking shots and edit the clips together so that you can see what video results you can get.
As you can see, the PowerVision S1 did a great job of handling the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So how much is the PowerVision S1? It costs around $229, which is a relatively high price tag compared to most smartphone gimbals. But I think the overall uh, portability of the S1 justifies the price as there is nothing as small and featured packed as this gimbal. Now, if you're a person like me that wants smooth looking footage and likes to travel light, but still wants a full featured smartphone gimbal, some of the highlights that we talked about being the pocketable size, portable power bank, the magnetic mounting system, the integrated tripod and smart tracking, then the PowerVision S1 is a great option. Now guys, if you want to learn more, make sure to check out smartphonefilmmaking.com, which is my epic online course where I will teach you everything I know on how to produce professional looking videos on a smartphone. Now to get started making quality videos with your phone, make sure to download my free smartphone filmmaking guide. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, make sure to do that as this will help me a lot. If you have any questions, make sure to let me know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.